Hello! In this video, we are going to take a peek at some of the most important new features in the products delivered in the new Wonderware System Platform 2017. Included in this release are updated versions of InTouch, InTouch Access Anywhere, Wonderware Historian, and the Wonderware Application Server. It also includes some new device connectivity engineering tools and we will introduce you to the next generation of visualization technology from Wonderware, InTouch OMI. But first, let's look at our completely new centralized license management system. Used by all of the products in Wonderware System Platform 2017, the new licensing technology is activation-based, which means no more license files or hardware dongles. Customers will benefit from the convenience of centralized license management, server redundancy, and the ability to reserve licenses to specific nodes. InTouch 2017 is a big step forward in evolution for the Wonderware flagship HMI product. Users will immediately notice the new application templates, which provide rich, pre-built applications built by our systems experts ready to use out of the box. Supporting these new application templates are new features like frame type windows, and the ability to target a specific screen resolution. InTouch's runtime has gotten several modern upgrades to the user experience as well. Here, we see InTouch now natively supports touch interactions, as well as pan and zoom. Additionally, it supports the concept of clutter and declutter, where the initial view is clean and crisp but simply by zooming in, the operator can see a new level of details appear. Zooming back out automatically declutters the operator's view. In addition, InTouch 2017's window viewer can be run as a service, allowing operation as a headless data and logic server. We've also made dramatic improvements in the alarming client's performance and added autocomplete to the script editor. And finally, InTouch 2017 is now able to act as an OPC UA client, further expanding its reach into the vast amounts of data within our users' production environments. Correspondingly, InTouch Access Anywhere has received several upgrades, including a streamlined user interface and support for new InTouch 2017 features. Wonderware Historian 2017 offers some significant improvements as well. Elliot Middleton, the product manager for Historian, will give us some details on what users can expect in this new release. The first thing you'll notice when you install Historian 2017 is a revamped configurator. Most of these changes are to help you better secure your system from attackers. We've significantly hardened Historian, including the way we use SQL Server. For end users, the most significant change is Historian Insight. Just like the online version, we made significant updates to make this super simple access to operational data even better, straight from your favorite browser, directly on-premise. We've expanded tiered historians to also support replicating events to a central system, including to Wonderware Online. Whether you're running the reports, using Historian Client Trend, or Insight, we're making long-term queries lightning fast. Historian will start optimizing your historical data from the time you upgrade. Look for a separate utility to also optimize your older data to be available soon. Finally, if you're using a remote IDAS for reliable data collection, look for significant improvements over slow and intermittent networks, including much lower bandwidth requirements. Moving on to Wonderware's application server, a key feature delivered in 2017 is a significantly reduced runtime footprint, which allows an off-the-shelf PC to support 20 simultaneous RDP sessions running an application with up to 100,000 IO points. This provides customers with an immediate positive impact on their bottom line by reducing hardware and software licensing costs. Additionally, we've increased the scalability of users' connectivity solutions by enabling multiple instances of the same OI server to be run on a single machine, thereby reducing hardware and licensing costs even further. Application Server has a new object redeployment mechanism, which reduces runtime interruptions to a single engine scan, providing a virtually seamless deployment of configuration changes at runtime. Complementing that, 
is the new feature which allows users to optionally preserve changes made to important set points and other operator settable values across deployment operations. The new Simulation OI server provides application developers the opportunity to test their system platform application using automatically bound, simulated data. One of the new exciting engineering efficiency capabilities added to Wonderware System Platform 2017 is AutoBuild. Select OI servers have been enhanced to allow users to leverage the configuration that already exists in their intelligent PLCs and other field devices. Through a powerful wizard interface, users are guided through the quick and simple process of reading the namespace from their devices, which the system then uses to build object templates that model the equipment the PLC controls, and then automatically creates instances for each piece of equipment. This dramatically reduces the engineering time required and eliminates data entry errors. When modeling their plant, customers sometimes struggle to create a flexible template which accurately reflects their wide array of equipment, yet also accommodates future growth and changes. Application Server 2017 solves this by introducing object wizards. Built by standards developers and used by application assemblers, object wizards allow customers to codify their equipment capabilities, including attributes, operational logic, and graphics in a single, flexible, highly performant template. Best of all, the resulting template provides maintenance users an easy, wizard-based workflow to create or update equipment instances. The Orchestra Graphic Editor has been significantly enhanced for Application Server 2017. One new feature is the Visual Build. The Visual Build workflow gives users the ability to drag and drop an object template directly onto the graphic canvas. And through an intuitive, wizard-based interface, the system then creates a new instance of that template. It adds it to the equipment model and embeds the selected object graphic. And last, but by no means least, we are pleased to introduce the next generation in visualization technology, InTouch OMI. InTouch OMI represents the culmination of years of research and development, customer collaboration, design validation with partners, and extensive testing in real world, small and large scale environments. InTouch OMI makes application integration easy by providing the navigation, automatic context management, and the operational framework needed so you can focus on the true value add that you bring to your application. Content. InTouch OMI natively supports Orchestra Graphics, which continues to be the powerful core visualization technology used throughout Wonderware System Platform. Let's take a look at some of the exciting capabilities of this brand new visualization product. Um, Multi-touch, I'm going to start with. So general interactions. So general interactions would be like, I can take my two fingers here, uh, move two things at the same time. I can switch multiple buttons on. I can pan and zoom. I can have safety features and move things on the side, toggle. Um, we have uh, built-in uh, swipes, so you can actually swipe uh, between menus, uh, swipe other menus in, top menu, and then we basically have a uh, SCADA playback, which I will demonstrate in a second. So if we go back to um, our content, one thing we have is, um, for example, situational awareness built in. So all the situational awareness graphics, um, like dashboard type of graphics, we have um, KPI style gra of graphics and typical cards, meters with trends. We have um, more SA style graphics here and then basically all meter types for different medias like pressure, level, temperature analyzer, things like that, uh, connections. And then this is more like a typical PNID uh, type of graphic where you can zoom in and zoom out. Um, wanted to show real here the um, we're gonna go to dashboards and then we're gonna play back some data. Um, so we're gonna go here and I'm gonna take this dashboard, bring up the SCADA playback. So right now when I go to SCADA playback mode, the system is frozen. 
over to a time, hit the playback button, and change the speed. So right now, it's playing back the data from the historian, and not live. Uh, so that's historical uh, SCADA playback feature. This works on any graphic um, at, at any time. Um, so disabling it goes back to runtime data. Um, the other feature things that we have is um, um, contextualization. So contextualization, when we zoom out, you can see we have a three screen set up here, and this is one application. So the map application, the overview, the next one up in the hierarchy, and the storage tanks are all um, in, within this one app. And if I change my uh, navigation to storage tank one, automatically I have the overview here for the seven storage tanks, and I have on the map view located where storage tank number one is. I can bring up apps in context. I can look at things like camera systems, I can look at things like alarms. Um, we can go and we can bring up charts for the storage tank number one and bring up the uh, chart associated with that tank. Um, and that's all done without any coding. Um, when we change to storage tank number two, then automatically the map gets its context for storage tank number two and we'll be showing that display. So that's basically a, a quick and brief overview of all the functionality we have. I'm going to leave it at that. In this video, we have highlighted some of the great new features delivered in the wide range of products in the Wonderware system platform 2017. Thank you for watching.